sensational. Guys, real quick before we get into today's video, I'm like at a loss of words. We did 3.6 thousand views in the first 24 hours because I missed the initial jump. That is crazy. We've had two videos before that got like a thousand in 24 hours and I was stoked, that's nuts. But 3.6 thousand is like, man, I, I'm really, I'm lost for words guys. And uh, don't worry, don't, you can skip ahead of this part, but I really do owe a thank you to you guys. Um, this whole video is not gonna be a thank you, but it, it's just, wow, over 50 subscribers, 3,600 plus views, I, I'm, it's crazy. Uh, it really, it makes me super happy. I'm not gonna get emotional on any of that stuff, but it just makes me happy because I feel like, okay, I'm doing something that hopefully is impacting you guys, hopefully making you happy. I try to be informative. And so to see results like that from such a small channel, like to get those numbers, it's just super, super cool. So for all you new guys, welcome. Uh, my name's Evan, if you couldn't tell by the name of the channel, but yeah, got some Mustangs, got some cool stuff coming. I appreciate everyone that jumped on board. Trust me, you're gonna, you're gonna love the content. You're gonna love to see this beautiful freaking face of mine <laughs> three times a week. But yeah, guys, I'm just on uh, cloud nine, man. So just really owed it to you because without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. And we're, we're moving, man, we're on the right track. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. Alrighty guys, hopefully the wind is not too bad, but today we're gonna talk about probably the number one thing that catches your eyes when you look at this car, and that's gonna be that giant girthy thing right there. That's what she said. <laughs> the Cervini's four inch cowl hood. So that is one of the most common questions I get is what brand is it? It is Cervini's, uh, absolutely love it. So the reason why I went with this one, because there are other brands, all the research I did, everyone always said that the alignment, the fitment is stellar. So we can check both sides there. As you guys can see, I mean, it is spot on. The body shop that painted it, installed it, said it was a breeze. Now, visibility. So from the front, I mean, you guys can tell, this thing's massive. Now, if I were to redo it again, quite honestly, guys, I would do a two and a half inch. The four inch, don't get me wrong. I mean, it looks mean. Let's get a couple different angles. But visibility is not its strong suit, like at all. I'm trying to get more angles so you guys can see. I mean, it takes up a lot. We're gonna get in the car. Let's do that now so you guys can see. I mean, at night, hence why, where is it? One of my wheels right there. That's because you literally can't see curbs at night, especially when it's dark, like dark curbs. So here, let's go. This is my point of view, guys. I'm literally resting this up against my forehead. I mean, there is a lot of space taken up because of that hood. I constantly find myself like leaning forward. You have to like sit up and then try to like look over it. Now, here's like another, here's a wide angle view. So this is pretty close to the, like my real point of view as well. I mean, guys, like I don't think it does it justice, but like, there we go. So you only have this much visibility, which is maybe in person, like four and a half inches. Yeah, it's pretty gnarly. Now, one of my favorite things about this hood is because I do daily drive this. You guys can see, let's see if we can zoom in here. Can you guys see that? Hopefully, maybe not, I don't know. But it does have actually like vents or little holes in it. So it is fully functional. During the summer, especially a day like today when it is high 80s, if I leave the car running longer, you'll start to see like the heat. You know how it has like little ripples? You'll see like on the ground, like blacktop. It does that, so the heat does come out. Kind of a neat little thing about this. You guys can see there, you actually have to relocate your windshield wiper fluid sprayer things because usually they're on the outside, but because of the way the hood's designed, you can't do it. Now, probably another gripe that I have about it is you can't really change your windshield wipers because look, so I somehow, I'm gonna take it to Ford or something because I don't feel like breaking my windshield trying to get those off. My luck, those pop and go flying and smack the glass. Here's another side angle for you. But man, it just looks so good, but it's so obnoxious. Now here, let me show you guys a full side angle because that's the reason I wanted the cowl hood. Not because I wanted to look fast, but guys, zoom in. Yeah, see with the GT500 spoiler, with that cowl hood, I mean, just the body lines, it works so well. It looks absolutely killer. Now, if you're watching this for the first time, no, this is not fast. I'll never claim it's fast. It doesn't have GT badges or Cobra badges. D badge life, never fake it. But man, this car looks good. Ooh, it is windy. Let's hop back in here. 
So if you're in the market for a hood, definitely recommend it. I want to say at the time I got this, which was probably five years ago, this thing was like eight or 900 bucks and that was unpainted. I think it just came primered. So all in all to like get it installed, painted everything. If I had to guess at like a really good quality shop, you'd probably be in the realm of like 13 to 1500 bucks. Now it does totally transform the whole front end of the car. That paired with the GT front bumper and the CDC chin spoiler, I mean, doesn't get much more aggressive than this. Now, don't get me wrong, I think the 13 to 14s are probably the best looking Mustangs out, at least in the past like 30 years. Eh, I don't know, the Cobra's pretty tough, but this just totally changes the way this car looks. I mean, you will break necks with this thing. So I definitely recommend it. Also, for the passenger, see here, I'll give you guys an angle, not that y'all ever be looking at this. I'm trying to think of other negative things. Oh yeah, so what I was talking about with the winter, because the heat comes through there, let's see, I don't know if you guys can see the heat. Like in person, I can see it. No, it's not gonna work. Um, it'll actually melt the snow on the windshield. Also, it acts as like a little snow plow. So if the snow accumulates on the hood, it'll just fall right off. Um, yeah, so fitment, excellent, looks killer, has several functionalities. It's a snow melter, snow plow. You know, I would imagine, I mean, I'm a Mustang owner, so eventually I'll probably have to hit a crowd or something. And I'm sure the people will just deflect right off, go right over the hood and, you know, way better aerodynamics there. Oh, speaking of aerodynamics, this thing is stout, guys. It does not budge. I've gone, I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't really push this car very hard, but I've been like 80, 90 and the hood does not budge, rattle or anything. No squeaks. So super, super happy with the quality. I mean, that probably a lot of that had to do with the install, but just wanted to throw that out there in case you guys we're in the market for that. And for those wondering, it does work with the GT grills. If you still have a V6 front bumper, it will still work with the V6 grills because I did have this on, oh no, I guess I didn't. But from the research I did, it'll fit just fine with the V6 bumper and grill. So you don't have to do anything else, headlights, everything, you can keep them stock. It will not have any issues. There'll be no rubbing, nothing like that. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure, look at my hair going crazy right now. My hair is dancing because it knows I'm happy, but no. For real guys, thank you so much if you enjoyed this video and you're maybe looking at again in the cowl hood, now you know which one to get. Drop a like on this video, it helps your boy out a ton. You know, let's get another banger video, man. Let's get another 3,600 views. Uh, I will not complain. So nonetheless, take it easy guys. Have a great day and I'll catch you all on Friday's upload. Peace out guys.